You guys want to go shave Daddy's beard? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Get a nice trim. This is a profile of an American football family. All right. Nice. Nicely done. Yeah, nicely done. A very accomplished oh, yeah. family. Oh, that's nice. Both brothers have been all pro NFL offensive linemen. Their sister is a musician who has competed on American Idol. And this modern family affair all began with a rugged young center and a pageant queen. Cheryl Van Cleve was crowned Miss California in 1981 and participated in that year's Miss America pageant. I was a pageant girl when I was younger, and I've been singing for years. I had a band for a long time. In fact, Frank was with me in the beginning when I first had a band, and he kind of traveled with us as our road manager. That was a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Supposedly, he met her, and they got married in three months. You know, my dad got lucky with her. She was Miss California. Definitely outkicked his coverage. The biggest gift my parents have ever given me and my siblings is just believing in us and telling us time and time again, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Ryan is Frank and Cheryl's firstborn. My, my older son, is, his mind is always clicking. As a child, football was on Ryan's back burner. Ryan, when he was a kid, he used to do um, animation. He would uh, take a picture, he'd put it together, change it, go back and take a picture, and he'd just keep doing that and make little films. When he was playing football early, and it didn't look really promising. Part of it was because I wasn't any good. And uh, when I felt like I was starting to develop a little bit more, I thought, well, who better to go to than my pops? And I said, you don't have to do this, but if we do it, we go to the park and we do this stuff, then we're gonna do it the way I wanna get it done. But I didn't realize how much work it was gonna be and how hard he was gonna be on me. Because I told him, you can quit anytime you want. You don't have to do this. I'm not that dad that, you know, is gonna make you do all this different stuff, um, but, when he agreed to do it, then I was that dad that made him do all that stuff. Um, but he worked. I mean, I, I never seen a guy work as hard as him. So, you know, when my buddies were at the beach, we were there doing footwork and hand placement and using my brother as a practice dummy. And a, he was my, he was the pass rusher and he was this little skinny, long, lanky kid. And I got to beat up on him when he would piss me off. And you know, he was twice my size. I was a little 180 pound, seventh grader going against my brother getting ready to go into college. Do you need my hands under here? No, we don't. Sure? No, I don't Okay, I'm just going to ask. I know I don't have the hands of Cam Newton, but that's OK. Here we go on one. No, it's on me, actually. Oh, it's on you? Yeah, OK, no. my bad. Why is it on you? <laughs> Knew he was going to do that. <laughs> you know, ultimately, I, I stayed the course, and, and it worked out. The footwork and hand placement he learned from Pops served him well at USC, where he was named the Pac-10's top offensive lineman. Hey, if I slip into the second round is the worst thing that ever happens to me, I think I'll be all right. Let's go win a Super Bowl. At the Khalil home in Corona, California, Ryan celebrated turning pro with his wife and family. Five years later, it was little brother's turn to punch his own ticket to the pros. Matt Khalil, tackle USC. Being the competitor I am, I just want to do just as well as him. So everything he does, I try to match that or just up him a little bit. So uh, I think that's a little sibling rivalry, but kind of wanted to follow in his footsteps. We're going to watch Daddy coach here in a minute. Where's Daddy at? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, there he is over there. Who has younger brothers? Raise your hand. Younger brothers? They can be annoying sometimes. I know mine can. So just pretend as your younger brother and come off the ball and hit these bags hard, OK? Go. Each summer, there you go. The Khalil men return to their go. alma mater to tutor the school's next generation of offensive linemen. They're just little kids, man. Why are you trying to beat up on little kids? It's messed up. Just let them win. Now. I'll try. Right. I've been nice to this guy for two years now. Wasn't I nice to you last year? No. Come on. Not nice. Now, was I nice to you when you first started? <laughs> See? 
but ends sometimes justify means. Matt made all pro in his rookie season with the Minnesota Vikings. Ryan's superb technique has earned him four trips to the Pro Bowl for the Carolina Panthers. First and ten from the 35, deep drop by Newton. Lines up in the pocket, snaps it long downfield, caught Ted again. They just really wanted to do it, and my hat's off to both of them because they didn't want to be good, they wanted to be great, and here they are now in the NFL. All their hard work and all the things that they did uh, has paid off for them. Gridiron greatness was not an option for the young lady of the Khalil family. So Danielle followed in mom's footsteps. She started modeling at 13 and started singing probably about 10. She decided she wanted to go um, in a pageant. And she said, I want to, I'm going to go in a pageant. I go, well, there's talent. What are you going to do? She goes, I'm going to sing. I go, you are? And she won. She got up there and sang Crazy by Patsy Cline and just blew me away. I started crying. She made the Hollywood finals of American Idol. This summer, she recorded a song called The Water that was recently released on iTunes. <laughs> Danielle, can you hear me? It's your brother. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Just thought I'd give you a pep talk. Um, <laughs> What's the talk? Don't suck. Okay. Okay. I'll try not to right, disappoint the family. Okay, here we go. Down by the river, she takes her body and her soul. Where singing their songs this song was really personal to me because it's about no matter what anyone thinks, you go after what you want. And it's kind of in our family too. So Come on in. we're here today recording an acoustic version of it and then I'm gonna go to North Carolina and record like a big production of it. It's been exciting to watch her grow as a person and as an artist, and we couldn't be more proud of her. She's probably a lot tougher than me and my brother. I know one day she's going to make it big, so I told her I better get some backstage passes when she becomes a famous singer. And be <laughs> Bravo. So we play you guys. When do we play you guys? November 30th. We're not playing the dome, right? Where are we playing? GCF. Can it be cold? Minus 30. Last season at Mall of America Field, the Khalil brothers squared off against each other for the very first time. When you go through that moment, you never realize, maybe looking back at it, how, you know, what, what a spectacular day that was. We actually split a shirt in half and sewed it together, Danielle and I did. So we had both sides going. And then Danielle sang the national anthem. Mm -hmm. So we were a very proud family that day. That was amazing. I think that my parents, they had a smile this big. <laughs> you know, it was just a very exciting day for them. The Khalil brothers are playing on either side and singing the national anthem with their sister, Danielle Khalil. Inspiring model and singer Danielle Khalil. Nervous family. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first time you went in a game that he's yeah. like, okay, I am rooting for nobody. On this day, older brother's team would prevail. Throws end zone. It's complete. Steve Smith left side. Touchdown, Carolina Panthers. Right had a good luck. There's never a moment where he's not grading us. My dad's a guy, he just, he's in the game the whole time with the binoculars, just looking, doesn't talk to anybody, you know, everyone knows just to leave him alone. He goes crazy with just one of us playing. So when we were both on the field, I was talking to my mom after the game, she said he was going crazy, just stressing out. Obviously it's tough playing against your brother. Gets hit as he throws and it's intercepted. It's a win-win for me when my brother can play well and we can still win. Athletically, he's a lot more gifted. He's got all the better genes. Look-wise, much more handsome. Yeah. You know, I'd love people to know that these two guys and my daughter um, are just such good kids outside of what they do. It's just been a great ride so far for the Quill family.